Industrium presents Steampunk Submarine with Kiosk, an interactive hint system for players, uh, which also includes a video timer, as you may see. Uh, first, I will explain uh, how it works very briefly. Uh, we can set uh, the timer, obviously, uh, and we can change it live. You can see how I do this in the interface before the game begins. We will set it to the regular 60 minutes. And uh, let's press start game. The timer starts counting down. We will now hear an intro message from the narrator. Let's wait for it a few seconds. So, uh, like as you heard, we have no light, so right now players are in complete darkness, except this uh, alarm light. Uh, we have this wire attached to the prop, and uh, it's connected to a short LED strip, uh, which indicates uh, the power for the room light. Right now it's off. So, uh, let's speak about the hint system uh, a few more. Uh, we have the two-way communication included in this system, which means that the Game Master can communicate with players and the players can communicate with the Game Master. So uh, there are, there's also an option when players can call the Game Master by pressing this button. See, it says call GM. So it, uh, when we press it, uh, the notification will appear on the screen. So please uh, show it. So when, I, when players will press this button, uh, the uh, notification appears, uh, players need help. Uh, and it's the time when the Game Master can... Hello, what help do you need? So he can ask the players uh, and tell them uh, something. Uh, the microphone for the players is at the bottom of this uh, kiosk, and they can also communicate with the Game Master. Uh, I have the, uh, these uh, headphones. They are connecting, connecting to this microphone. So on the back, you can connect any headphones. This is just as a, our standard headphones. And this is how the Game Master can communicate. Also, a switch off button for the microphone as well, if you don't want players to hear you. So, uh, and uh, now let's uh, see the first hint. Here we have a notification, so each time the new hint appears, uh, there is this red uh, label coming out, and uh, the button is blinking. So let's press it. When we press it, we can first see the puzzle for which the hint is available. And uh, also we can see how many puzzles are active right now. So right now it's only one. And this is the picture of a puzzle that uh, right now is available, and. Uh, we can uh, request a hint for it by pressing this button, choose hint. And now as uh, when we see the actual hint, so it's up to players whether they want to see the hint or not. So maybe uh, just the picture of a puzzle will be enough for players uh, to uh, continue and uh, to let them know where they should look. Uh, next hint will appear in um, 30 seconds, it's set to 30 seconds right now, so each hint appears every 30 seconds, uh, a new hint. Uh, but this is adjustable and we can set it to any time you want. Two minutes, uh, whatever you want. So uh, 30 seconds is optimal for demonstration right now. So um, also, uh, yes, the final hint is already available, so the system tells you if it's the final hint or just the next hint. So uh, to let players decide whether they want to uh, solve the probe without thinking at all, because the final hint will just give you the solution. So, uh, let's see the final hint. Oh, and uh, you just noticed that the uh, hint uh, returned to the main screen, and uh, this is the timeout, one minute. So if players don't press any buttons, the uh, system will return to the timer screen. To the timer screen. So, let's press. Uh, let's choose the puzzle again and let's see the final hint. So, 
and uh, basically it tells us to look uh, to get the key out of this tube and uh, turn the switch. So let's do this. Um, so we have this magnetic handle on the chain and we need to put it inside and the key will stick to the magnet and we'll get out the key. We will open the uh, uh, door and inside we'll find this uh, gear and we can uh, turn the switch and see how the light will change now. So, we have the light now, and uh, we, uh, you, you see that the puzzle, uh, the hint just disappeared because we solved the puzzle, and we are waiting for the next hint to appear for 30 seconds. So, let's wait. Uh, I can show you, uh, I will show you the hint now, and uh, we will proceed. So. Okay, so it's just appeared. And the next puzzle that is available for us is this hard thing. So let's, uh, let's us, let us quickly show the hint. Uh, it tells us to uh, do something with this place in, in the puzzle. And uh, it actually, uh, we need to um, insert this gear into it. So here's the puzzle that you just saw on the screen. And what we need is to plug the, uh, this gear here and start rotating it. And see how the progress bar uh, starts filling up. And the heart is beating. Turns out that the submarine's engine is a heart. Ah, I'm afraid to imagine what's next for us. Seems that the rumors are true after all. Well, you've got to move on. We do not have much time. And the next next puzzle is just uh, has just activated. Yeah, we we've got to move on. We don't have much time. So let's uh, do this. Um, for this puzzle, we will need a second player. We will ask uh, Katya for help. Um, so let's do it from this side. Let's switch sides, please. Uh, so, OK. So first players, we have holes on both sides of the prop. And um, yeah, let me maybe show you the hint uh, for, this pro for this puzzle. Um, so you can see it here. Let's check it out. So I press the button. I see this puzzle. Uh, I will remind you that uh, you don't have to see the hint itself. Maybe just the picture of a puzzle will be enough for you to find out what's, what to do. So, but let's see the hint. It tells us to connect the wires and the bulb will light up. Next hint, by the way, will appear only in 30 seconds after we opened the previous one. So they will, they will not stack up uh, one by one. So if you don't open the first hint, uh, the uh, second and the third will not be available. So let's do the puzzle. We need to find out the pairs of wires to illuminate this, uh, to change the color of these bulbs to green. So I know that this one is the pair to the first one, so this is yours. So see how when, when we connect one pair, the bulb, so it's under her, behind her face. Okay, so let's proceed. Um, now, let me try it. It's like this one, I think this is from, yeah, okay, this is from this one. Uh, it's not very convenient because of this um, gloves, but this is the game. Um, so on this one, oh, let's, let, let me take this one and I will give you this one, try. I think we only, uh, I'm lost. Okay, let, let me take this.
Yeah. And finally, okay. So the bottom compartment opens. And uh, thank you for help. So, and we open uh, the next puzzle. So here we have uh, wires. By the way, we received the wire from this uh, compartment. You can put here more wires. I just left one here. So this puzzle, uh, to, to solve this puzzle, we will need to refer to another prop in this room. So let's uh, uh, see it closer. Uh, we have the uh, decipher some letters, uh, letter abbreviations, so to say, and uh, we have all these wires. I already connected the wires uh, correctly, uh, except the last one, and see what happens when I connect each pair correctly. The meter gauge starts uh, raising, so I will disconnect uh, three, and you will see it's almost zero, this uh, meter gauge. Now it's more, more, and more. And uh, Let's see the hint now. Um, we split the hints in a way that the first hint is very subtle. And uh, here it just tells you that S, let's, let's uh, see it once again, SYD is actually Sydney, OK? So this is just the first hint. Maybe this will be enough for some players. Next hint will be available soon. Let's check this one uh, also. So let's do it. OK. So this is the next hint. Uh, see that it's not the final one. When we activated it, uh, the, uh, this uh, label change to the final hint will be available soon. OK. So it, mean, it means that the next hint will tell us basically how to solve the puzzle without thinking at all. And uh, this second hint tells us that two, uh, two and green light are connected and basically also basically tell us to pay attention to the map on the wall. So that's it. You can return to the previous hint if you want. You can see. Uh, also, if you activate the hint, you can see that this uh, notification label disappears. By pressing the exit button, you can return to the main screen. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. Let's uh, proceed with the puzzle. So. We will connect, connect Sydney and uh, New Delhi. And something else. Uh, standard version of this room is for, of this uh, game is for two rooms. But there is an option for three rooms. And in the three room version, uh, the second door, uh, the next door, uh, the door to the next room, uh, is connected to this prop. And when we solve it, it opens. So I have here this wire connected to a LED strip that indicates uh, that the power is um, feed to the maglock. So when I solve it, uh, this uh, compartment on the side will open, and this light will turn off. I hope you can you saw this. So we open this compartment. Let's let's take a look. And inside this compartment, we find we find this huge uh, wrench. Okay, so. This puzzle is now uh, done completely. We will use this uh, range a little bit later for, for this prop.
But now we need to solve this. Uh, you already heard some knocking. This knocking is coming from this prop. Uh, let us check uh, again, uh, again the hint. Uh, obviously, the hint will be for this prop uh, because it's active right now. Let's check it. Um, so, this hint is just telling us to hear for something. Uh, like I said, the first hints are very, very uh, subtle. So, I will just need to repeat the knocking to solve this prop. So, let's do it. So, uh, we open another compartment. Uh, the hint just disappeared from the screen. So, next puzzle activates, it's this sonar. And um, uh, what we find in this compartment are these uh, metal pieces, flat metal pieces. We will need them later. Let's take them out and put here. Uh, next puzzle, yes, like I said, is the sonar. And uh, it's a memory game. Um, the hint for this game is uh, it's probably the only game in this uh, room uh, that has only one hint because, uh, and you will see it. So the sonar. And uh, yes, that's, the, that's just one hint. So, so these buttons are not active, this, bu this button. So there will be no previous, no next, just one hint. Uh, because this game is uh, pretty much impossible to show how to solve because it's a memory game. Let's do this. Uh, this game has a few levels. So this is how it works. I have to remember uh, when the uh, light changes to red and uh, then press the buttons when the uh, combo ends. So I didn't remember anything right now, so let me try again. Okay, so one, this one, and this one, and this one, okay. Okay. So the first level is done. Next level will have more buttons. One, two. Uh, I don't think I will be able to solve it alone. Or, oh my god, so this is, uh, there are too many of them. So let's, uh, yeah, we'll just fail it. So, but we can solve this puzzle from the ERP, and this is uh, when uh, the control interface comes in hand. Uh, so, let's finish it. You ju we just press the finish button and it will solve. The game is called Sonar. So, are you ready? And see how the light changed to green, from red to green. So, just an indicator for players that it's solved. So, now, uh, from the, uh, this game, we, have, we receive also a few metal pieces, like this. And now, uh, we need to solve uh, two props. Uh, so, right now, there, there are two props active at the same time in the game. And uh, when we solve them, both of these lights, so each light um, uh, basically uh, indicate the uh, status of, the, of each prop. Uh, when both of these lights are green, the door to the next room will open. And by the way, the door to the next room is locked with the maglock that will be connected to this wire. Right now, we connected to it a LED strip to indicate the power. So, let's start solving these props. And uh, it's, the, it's a good time to show you that um, how the interface looks when uh, more than one puzzles are active. So right now, you can see that we have this writing puzzle one out of two. And uh, both puzzles have hints available for them, so both notifications are active. Um, so, and we can choose between two puzzles uh, for which we can 
which one we need uh, the hint uh, for. So this is the puzzle that you recognized uh, is this barometer game. And uh, let's uh, choose the previous one. So it's the, this game. Okay, so let's start. Uh, let me choose this um, game, uh, this hint for this game. Uh, first hint tell us that we need to place some balls here, and it also um, tell us that we need to pay attention to uh, this probe. So it's somehow uh, related to this game, and now I will explain how. So this probe has the, these balls attached to it, and uh, we need to take them off. Uh, but it's not as easy uh, because uh, these um, balls are, so for example, I cannot unscrew this nut with uh, hands only. Okay, these are not screwed com uh, completely uh, tight. Okay, but this one is screwed tight. And now I will show you how to solve this problem. Let me also, uh, we have the, hint, the next hint available. Let's check it out. So let's uh, choose this game again. Let's check out the hint. And uh, yeah, so see, now it's telling us that we need the range and something uh, that is very, look, look very uh, similar to these metal uh, pieces, okay? So, and the final hint will be available soon that will Basically, I think it's pretty clear already at this point what we need to do. So it shows us how to solve this game pretty much. This range is too big for these uh, nuts. Well, maybe only this nut is uh, gonna fit for this range, okay? How do we unscrew this one? That's when we, where we need those metal pieces. So pay attention to how I do this right now. Okay, and now it budges. And now I think I can, oh, actually, I, I, I suppose to rotate it the other way. I only made it tighter. Okay, now I think I, yeah, I loosened it. And now I can take the, the ball off. So, uh, I will not unscrew all of the balls. Uh, I have the second, a second set um, available, and uh, I made it easier for me. I already placed all these balls to these um, tubes. So, uh, the, the only thing left is to press, is to place the final one. And uh, let's, let us maybe see the final hint for this puzzle how it looks. Okay, and next one, final hint. So basically it tells us to drop the balls here through this uh, hole, uh, and this is what we're gonna do. And yeah, we need to use this uh, spoon. Okay, um, so I will show you a little um, cheat, uh, how to do this easier, so you can, this hole is big enough for, for, well, not for everyone, but uh, to put your hands inside and make the job easier. But uh, here you will need to um, carefully, so here there's no, there's no trick to, from this point. No. So let's try again. And when I solve this puzzle, by the way, uh, I will, this light will turn to green. One of these two lights. Uh, yeah, let me tell you before I forgot. Here we have a hole for the game master with a door. Uh, yeah, the door for the game master, and uh, he can access the uh, he can access the electronics inside if that's needed, and he can. Uh, well, this is the way I can solve this game actually. But let me show you it, how it's done. Uh, how it should be done. So, and this is the, how he resets all these balls. Uh, there's a special stick for the game master to reset this prop. Here it is. 
This is the stick for the game master. And through this hole, he can basically throw all the balls out of the place. We will not do it not right now, of course. Um, so let's solve the game. Let's try one more time. I hope I will get luckier. No, I will not see it. If I do it from this side, let's do this from Oh, I'm... <sighs> My dexterity is at high today. Even the cheat doesn't help me. Okay. So the light turns green. I think this door leads to the bridge, and we are almost there. And uh, this time is uh, the narrator uh, is, come, is coming back and tells us that uh, this door that we'll unlock after we solve, uh, after we make the slides green, uh, leads to the bridge. So uh, let's solve the second puzzle. Uh, you can see right now that the n number of puzzles changed to one. And only this puzzle is active, so we need to solve it. Let's see the hint for it. So the hint right now tells us to pay attention to the uh, wheels. So here are the wheels. OK. Um, yeah, how do we solve this puzzle? We have those uh, gauges, OK? And uh, we have those uh, wheels. And see when we rotate them. The hand uh, starts moving too. But we don't know what uh, value we need to set on these gauges. So to find it out, we need to look at the wheels itself. So uh, let's uh, show it closer, please. So we have the holes here. OK? So let me show it to you. We have a different number of holes in these uh, wheels. This one, for example, has only one hole. This, hole. this has three holes, and so on. And the number of holes will tell us the number uh, we need to set on the gauge. And this is what you will see right now on, this, uh, on the hint. Let's see that the hint is already available. So this was the first one. This is the second one. And uh, the, the third will be the final one. And it tells us to pay attention to count the number of holes and basically set the gauge to this, uh, to this number. The final hint will give out the numbers, the correct number uh, of holes for each of the wheels. And yeah, let's solve this prop. Um, this one has uh, one, two, three, four, I think five. This one is five. If I, if I won't manage it, I will refer to the final hint. So, so this one has three holes. I'm setting it to three. Uh, this one has just one hole. OK, now I think one, two, three, four, four. And how many? One, two, three? OK, I think three. Let's see. Let's check with a hint. And uh, you will see it. OK, this is uh, number two. And the final hint. So this is how the final hint looks for this prop. It basically tells us so. It's five, three, one, four, two. Okay. Five, three, one, four. Okay, this is this is three, this is just two holes. Yeah, yeah, this is just two. And pay attention to the light above the 
uh, the game screen now, and the door will open, but not only in a few seconds. So let's wait for it. So this will create some tension for the players. A um, few more seconds. So the door is off. Now, we are in the final room, and um, the game that we will begin with is this box, basically. So this puzzle is mechanical. Uh, we need to take uh, pieces of the submarine from it. Um, so let, let me show you first how the Game Master will reset it. So we have the lid uh, closed with the two locks, and we can open it. And uh, the Game Master puts the uh, pieces of the submarine. It's just one piece right now. I will not uh, waste your time. I will just show you how it's done. So he puts it uh, in, at the very end of the game and closes it. We need those pieces of the submarine for the submarine, basically. So here we have the, uh, the submarine has the, those detachable uh, pieces, parts, like this one, then, uh, then this one, and uh, also we have on both uh, ends, so see, and all these pieces go to this box. But uh, we do, we'll just take one uh, for today. So let's see the hint for this puzzle. It's already available. This is a good time to show you that sometimes just, um, uh, just uh, the picture. So the picture shows uh, the puzzle, um, the submarine. And the players uh, will have to find out that uh, they need to do something with it, basically. If they just look at this picture, they will already can see that something will be missing because they are in this box. But if they are not too smart, <laughs> they will press the button and see that uh, to solve this puzzle, uh, they need to uh, pay attention to the box itself. And the box is related to the submarine. Okay, so let's do, let me show you how we solve this game. Uh, we have this, uh, we have this uh, wood piece attached to the rope. And uh, there is a magnet in the wood piece. Okay, and the magnet can take the piece because the piece has the magnet inside too. And we, we can, we need to. Guide the piece like this. Uh, through all these holes and we can get it out from this hole. Voila. So, um, yeah, I think uh, we still have the, so this is the only hint for this puzzle, by the way, because there's nothing to, um, to tell more about this puzzle. Basically, we need to get out all the pieces uh, and uh, make this uh, submarine complete. And when we do this, so this one goes uh, here, uh, this light, it will start shining, and... So, now, we also have um, uh, this uh, element activated. Um, so this light uh, tells us that this um, rotary switch is now active, and we can work with it. Uh, why, why do we need... Oh, my God. So... I drop the piece. Don't worry, it's Wendell proof. Uh, and um, let's let us see the hint first. I, I want to show it to you. Um, so this hint, uh, yeah. Again, it's the tricky uh, time uh, that the hint tells us uh, that the puzzle that that's active right now is this one, the compasses. You see it. Uh, so it's, um, 
a little tricky, to, but to solve the compasses, we will need to first uh, find out the numbers from the submarine. And let's, let's see the hint. So, and now it tells us that we need to rotate this rotary switch that I just showed to you. And uh, it also highlights the window. So there's something going on in there between those two parts of the submarine prop. And uh, here is the time that we understand that they are related. So let's do this, uh, let's do this part. I will uh, have to be, it's easier to show you from this side. So when I rotate this thing, I can stop, no, not the other way. I change the frequency, uh, let me do it from this side. I change the frequency uh, of the stroboscope inside. So it seems, it may seem like the uh, fan is uh, slowing down, but it's not the fan, it's the frequency of the strobe. Okay, I think the other way, yeah. Okay. So you see how it slowly, so it's almost, it almost like I just uh, put it into like, um, it's almost like, I stop, like I'm stopping the time. Okay, see the numbers on the lobes, uh, on the parts of the fan basically, 11, 3, 9, 6, 12, 1. Let's see the hint and uh, it will tell us what to do with them. It's almost like I can um, uh, not talk at all and just show you the hints and uh, you figure out the walkthrough for yourself. Um, let's press it. Let's see. So this one we already saw. Let's see the next one. And uh, this time it tells us that we need to use the numbers from the window for these um, for these uh, switches on the compass. Let's do that. So I think this was, uh, well, I actually already set all of them to correct uh, uh, values. Uh, only one left. And let's see what happens when I do this. So it's 12, um, 3, uh, 9, 6. Actually, it's 11, 9, 6, 12, and uh, 1. Let's uh, do this thing. Or should I show you? Let's, let's see the final hint. We are very proud of, the th of this hints. Uh, you may have already guessed that. Um, so yeah, this just shows you basically almost all the numbers from the fan and even tell you where to use them. The only thing left is to find out like this, this one, this one, and this one. And uh, this is what the final hint will give us, but let's uh, solve it already. Uh, this um, window on the top will activate now, so let's uh, pay attention. And these lights will turn to uh, green. Right now, uh, one of the lights is already green because we uh, switched the one side, so see how I switch this side? So one side is already correct. When I complete this side. And now let's uh, watch the. This place should be the captain's bridge, but I don't see any panels. So, how should we start the engine? Maybe this train thing in the center is a control panel? Try to do something with it. So, we need to wait for the compasses to stop uh, going crazy. So, and now they give us the necessary directions for the helm. And this is the final game in this uh, game. Uh, let's see one more hint. This one will be final. Uh, it shows us this puzzle that we have at the very end of this uh, uh, room. So, and uh, we need to set those guys to the uh, compass uh, directions. So basically tell the sh uh, look here and uh, use the values here. So let's do this. 
So let's uh, use the values from Compass for the Helm. Uh, actually, it, it's already set to correct. We have the um, southeast on the compass. We have the east. We have the southwest. And uh, this one is north. And uh, right now, all these lights will turn to green. And uh, the next, uh, the final big game activates. So. Um, this game has two stages that interchange. So we balance first this uh, uh, gyroscope, gyroscope, and then we uh, press those buttons lighting up. Let's see the hint for this game. Oh, it's not available yet, but let's wait a few seconds for it. OK, it's good. It's already here. So yeah, this puzzle, you just seen it. And uh, the hint uh, basically tell us to rotate the wheel and to make this thing green for five seconds. OK, and that's it. At this point, it stops. The final hint will come soon. And the final hint basically will uh, tell us uh, what to do with these buttons, but it's already too obvious. Uh, yeah, and this game also impossible to um, basically give like the hint that will uh, like a cheat or something. So we just uh, solve the game. So let me balance the wheel. Um, so. I'm not. OK, so in this time, it's the first level. First level. First level is just one button at, at, uh, at a time. Second level, let's bal balance it once again. Oh, and uh, the exit door, by the way, is connected to this prop. So this wire will feed the power to the exit door maglock. Let's balance the wheel. Oh, this side. Uh. OK, so this time, two, two buttons at once. Um, yeah. Obviously, those lights will not be hanging on one wall so tight. Uh, they will be spread out across the room, and players will have to run around the room and press them. Final level, final level. Uh, and be a good captain out of me. No, no good captain out of me. Uh. Okay. Uh. Oh, thank God. We have got rid of the squid. Good job, my friends. So the door is open. We've got rid of the squid. And now it looks like the submarine is moving towards the Captain Nemo's Bay. We did it. Good job. So in this kiosk, we also implemented a final video. Um, it's obviously customizable. You can upload your video. Uh, this was taken from one of our customers. Uh, there's also an option for an intro video, of course, if you want. So, yeah, we also waiting for your feedback about the kiosk. So, and here, this game is over. The mission is complete. So, this was the steampunk submarine escape room from Industrum, the special version with the kiosk interactive hint system. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned and check back for more escape rooms from Industrum. Bye bye.